when they sent me Don't Let Me Down, I had moved from New York to LA. They were still in New York. I was in LA. They sent me the song. Drew came out and we worked on the song together. This is and as then, a, a mix engineer? or Yeah, that was as a mix engineer. I started with them as a mix engineer, like just refining the sound. But also they gave me a lot of freedom to contribute. Mm. So for example, on Don't Let Me Down, like the bass and the kick were fighting in the original version. I said, well, let's just replace the kick drum. It's not really the right kick for the song. Let's replace it. Mm. Uh, and so we would do little things. It'd be, you know, more direction of production. So, you know, call it co-production or whatever. I don't think I got a co-production credit on that, but that was our our, our dipping our toes in and, and really just beginning to work together and find that sort of creative chemistry. And that song worked out really well. And then the next song they gave me was Closer. And that one I did uh, co-produce and did all the vocal production, cut Drew, cut Halsey, mixed it, worked on the arrangement, changed sounds and whatever. And that song was just so big that sort of kicked off a whole new phase of my career. I kind of view like those two songs, Don't Let Me Down and Closer, mm -hmm. as like that was the beginning of where the next phase of my career started. Very interesting. And then, you know, was locked in with them for that whole like collage EP, the Roses EP, and and then eventually Memory, uh, their first album that had, we did something just like this in Paris and all these great records. And then through that, I met BTS because they had produced a song for BTS that I mixed called Best of Me. And through that connection, I started just talking with the A&R at, at, at Big Hit, their label at the time. Still their label, though name has changed. This was before they were known in America. They were trying to break into the world, the rest of the world market. They were known in Korea, but not really in America yet. And so um, I sent them a few songs and they loved them. And one of those songs was Euphoria, which became a big single for them. Still one of the most their most popular songs. And uh, I wrote and produced that with um, a songwriter I discovered Candace Sosa and then they just took off and it was like it was like wildfire they were it was like Beatlemania around them and, and I continued to write with them and I ended up writing I think nine or ten songs for them and, and that was amazing and then that sort of kicked off another phase of my career with songwriting and, mm. and like that so I've always sort of everything's always been an evolution and mm -hmm. and throughout this time I had also begun doing more and more on the business side of things so I started a publishing company I got into tech and I started a did a tech startup and now I do a lot of venture capital investing and things like that. So my career has really had an evolution all the way through. And now I kind of just view myself, you know, now I make plugins as well. So I have a software business making music plugins. So, you know, I've always been somebody who just looks at what's next and setting new goals and then trying to go after them and, and achieve them.